Hello guys, Daniel Matt here. This is a video on me downloading Windows 10 on my Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. It was not easy, there were some hiccups along the way as you will see, but we did it. I had to go through the regular setup process for Windows 11 before I could boot into my installation media for Windows 10. And before you do this, remember to save an external copy of your image because Samsung does not give you images. I actually contacted the customer support and they said I had to send my PC in for service to get an image. So that's very important. So after having spammed F10, I was able to boot using my micro SD card mass storage device, as it was called here, to boot. And uh, as you can see, the setup here looked a bit weird. It, the resolution was kind of low. And uh, most importantly, I could not use my touchpad for this step. I actually had to use tab and space or enter to cycle between options. That was pretty tedious. My first attempt was unsuccessful because I chose Upgrade Install Windows, the first option. So when I chose Close, it just restarted. So I had to spam F10 again, enter the boot menu, choose the same st correct storage device with the media. And just like last time, I had to use my tab, space, and enter buttons to navigate start the setup because the touchpad was still not working but this time i chose custom install advanced and as you can see when i looped through the options here i could only choose one drive the other ones said can't be installed on drive x so only drive zero partition tree worked and this is where I was on the right track, but ran, ran into some issues. And this is where the first issue was, <laughs> that there was no Wi-Fi driver, it seemed. I could not connect to the internet, to any Wi-Fi network. So I had to skip this stage here where I was asked to sign in. Luckily, you can skip this stage in Windows 10 as opposed to Windows 11. So I just continued through the setup as usual. And now I could finally choose Windows Boot Manager. So basically just booting Windows 10, finally. It was still showing Samsung Galaxy, that was a good sign. And look, you can right away recognize Windows 10. But the network driver was missing. That's an important issue because I guess I could have downloaded drivers on another machine and imported them. But somehow I thought of running a factory reset. Well, basically I had no other choice because I had not backed up an image like you should, because Samsung does not offer images to their models on their web pages, only drivers. So as you can see, after the factory reset, the touchpad suddenly worked. And I could also connect to my Wi-Fi, as you see there. Yes, the fingerprint sensor worked, that's a good sign. And now, at this point, I had Windows 10. And it works pretty well, more or less stable, but I am having this 
fan issues. I'm not sure if this is exclusive to Windows 10, but there's this Maxim R audio service, for example, that makes the fans go crazy and seems like I'm not the only one with this issue. But the battery life is okay, actually, around four hours, three and a half if I have battery conservation mode on, and like one hour if I game, but... And in the Windows settings, I'm still able to get driver updates. And on the Microsoft Store, I was able to download Samsung updates to check if I'm getting the right drivers, and it seemed so, except a LAN driver. As you can see here, it said it was incompatible with the operating system version, so Windows 10 basically. And here's an example of how Windows 11 isn't really always optimized here. I was getting two sound outputs, one nonsensical one in Windows 11, while in Windows 10 I only had one. Before upgrading to Windows 10 I did check what apps I had pre-installed, so Galaxy Book Experience for example, and after upgrading to Windows 10 and after the factory reset I actually still had it. But I had to download some programs manually, like Samsung Notes and Second Screen, I actually had to download myself. Now, one issue I've noticed is Samsung Device Care is not actually Samsung Device Care when you open it. It's Samsung PC Cleaner, so yeah. But uh, look at here, the irony. <laughs> yeah, that's why I prefer Windows 10. Now, an external USB fingerprint sensor I've used with my Lenovo laptop worked fine in Windows 10, but here uh, it breaks Windows Hello. It's like you can only use the power button fingerprint sensor Samsung has, which is weird. One important thing to mention is that undervolting is disabled on the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, and I did not find any way to unlock it in the BIOS. Which is unfortunate because Samsung's own performance modes don't really make a noticeable difference. If anything, I feel like performance mode makes the fans go louder than quiet mode. Weirdly enough, undervolting would have been much better. But I guess it's related to hacking or something. <laughs> Oh, and uh, do use the control panel image save because then you can choose a particular partition while Samsung Recovery only lets you choose a disk and for some reason it even says Microsoft Windows 11 Home even though this is on Windows 10. Oh, and I didn't even realize that I haven't showed you what Windows 10 looks like. So. Let's see, bum 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 bum. I have my live tiles here. Everything works great. Samsung Flow. Yeah, I can connect here. Uh, what else? Second screen. Second screen works great. Uh, what else? Quick share is tested. Yeah, works well. Bum bum bum. Yeah, overall it works very well. And um, remember to check out the video I made about a week ago on why Windows 10 is so much better than Windows 11. There are so many reasons. What's important is that it says Windows 10 Home.